Hello everyone. Welcome to Coders Camp. Hope you are all doing great. And today we are going to cover reorder power of 2. So the input given is an integer and if we shuffle the digits and it is the power of 2 then we can return true. If not, return false. So how are we going to approach this? So here the input given is 46. If you see the powers of 2, it starts from 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 64, 128 and goes on till 10 power 9 because the limit of n given in the problem statement is 10 power 9. So here if you see 46, 46 is not the powers of 2 but 64 is because if you sh shuffle the digits given 46, it will become 64. So it is clearly given in the problem statement that the maximum value goes till 10 power 9. So there are only limited number of values between 1 and 10 power 9 that can be powers of 2. So we are going to check for every power starting from 1 till 10 power 9 and if the frequency of the digits matches with the given n and if any of the powers of 2's digits matches with the given number n then we are going to return true if not return false. So for example here 46 is given we are going to first check whether 1 is matching with the digits of 46 no moving on to 2 no moving on to 4 no next digit 8 no 16 no 32 no finally arriving at 64 here we have 1 4 and 1 6 the same way in 64 also we have 1 4 and 1 6 so the digits matches so we can form by shuffling 46 into 64 and it is the power of 2. Before getting into code, this actually works in big O of log n into log n because to compare the digits of given number n takes log n and compare each digit from 1 to 10 power 9 going to take one more log n. So it works in big O of log square n. So now let's see how is the code going to work. Yes, I'm going to have an integer array digits to record the digits of given number n which is of size 10 because we have digits 0 to 9 so every time we're gonna save the remainder of the digit and divide the digit by 2 So yes, now we have recorded the digits of the given input n. Now we are going to iterate from 1 to 10 power 9 and find all powers of 2 and match whether the digits of that number and the given number is matching. So let's start having the number from 1 and one more variable bits. Because 10 power n is maximum of 32 bits, so we are going to iterate this till a number meets 32 bits. So let us have a method is digits equal. And if the digits are equal uh, between the number and each power of 2, then return true. If not, double the number and increment the bits and go to check the next number. So yes, if we check with every possible power of 2 and none of the numbers matches with the digits, then return false. So now let's spend some time in writing the method is digits equal. So this is going to return a boolean value. So let us have a temporary integer array to store the digits of the given number and compare it with the digits array.
So now temporary array, the array temp is going to have the digits of n, and we are going to compare the values with digits array. So if the digits are not is equal to then we are going to return false. If not, it has completed all the comparison of all 10 digits, then which means we have to return true. So yes, let's run. Let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted. And thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.